Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making number 219 Granny Square of our 365 Days of Granny Squares. This one is so fabulous. We're using double treble stitches to make this amazing design around the edge of this flower. It is so cool. And uh, we are using these, uh, you know, stitches in the front. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a dimension, which is really cool to this flat square. And you can see the petals of our flower in the middle. It's really cool. We're using Pico stitches there and we're using an eclectic amount of stitches today. Double crochet, cluster stitches. We're making these petals so we have all the stitches. Single, half double, double, treble, then that Pico stitch and then these double trebles make these crossing designs sort of similar to like a fence. It's really, really cool. Uh, the colors I'm using today, I'm using six different colors today. You can use as many colors as you want in this project. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is just a scrap yarn project, so you don't need a whole lot of yarn in this project. I'm going to demonstrate this video with an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters, so make sure you have that handy, as well as a yarn needle and a scissor, just because those are good tools to use when we cut our yarn and sew in our ends, uh, so I have those handy. Also, before we start making the square, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video, so you will see the link to the written pattern for the square. This is called floral palisade and it will be on my website so you can follow along with that written pattern and also uh, there's a link to the 365 days of granny squares uh, page where you will get all 365 days of granny squares if you click the image it will take you to that video tutorial here on youtube and then at the bottom of that blog there's a list of the ones that have written patterns available to you so like i said you'll see number 219 uh, floral palisade so you can click that and follow along with that written pattern on my website. Also, there is a link to my Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you're following me on both platforms and share your photos. Find this square on the Facebook page and comment in the comment section a photo of your square today so I can see your work. I'd love to see what colors you come up with, especially around this edge here because that is just so fabulous. So I want to see what your squares come up with today. And also on Instagram, make sure that you hashtag 360 65 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your square today and then also you can follow me on snapchat all that good stuff all those links and all that information is in the description of this video lastly I have to say a big thank you to my dad for as much for taking the time to make these videos with us he is our videographer editor and photographer for all of our videos so make sure that you subscribe click that red subscribe button so you can get the update on when he posts our next video so let's get started and make number Number 219 Granny Square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull this through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start off by chaining four. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three and four. And now we're going to come all the way to the beginning chain right here and we're going to make a slip stitch. So go into that chain, yarn over, pull through and through. So now we've created a ring. Uh, if you're familiar with the magic ring, you can start that way as well, but I'm just going to start this way and we are going to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through one, two and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. So now we are going to put a double crochet into this ring. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. So now it looks like there's two double crochet together. Then we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And we're gonna put two more double crochet into the ring. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So that's one and two, okay? And now we want to do that, repeat that now uh, seven times. So there will be a total of eight of these groupings of two double crochets. So chain two, one, two, and then put two double crochets into the ring here, one and two, Okay, then chain two, 
one, two. Put two more double crochets in here. One and two. Then chain two, one, two. Put two more double crochets in here. Okay, so you wanna have a total of 16 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you might have to scoot these over a little bit. Chain two, two double crochets into the ring. Then chain two, two more double crochets in the ring. So we're gonna have eight of these groupings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more grouping here. Chain two and put two double crochets in the center. So you can see I've worked in a round uh, circular form here and I've crocheted over the top of this straggler back here so now I can kind of pull that tight to kind of close that center a little bit. And then we're going to chain two and slip stitch to the beginning chain up three right here, one, two, three. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and through. All right, there was round one. So going on to round two, if you are not changing color, you can slip stitch into this next stitch and into this chain two space and chain up three and go on to round two with me. But I'm going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull it tight. If you're changing color, you can start in any chain two space. So I'm just gonna go right into this one here, pick up my new yarn and pull that through. And then, like I said, chain up three. So one, two, and three. Now, in the same space here, we're going to make a beginning cluster stitch. So a beginning cluster is yarn over, go into that space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, but hold it. We're going to yarn over and go back into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Okay, that's a beginning cluster stitch. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna hop over to the next chain two space right here, and we're gonna put a regular cluster stitch in there. So a regular cluster is yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, but hold it. We're going to yarn over and go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're just going to repeat that around. So cluster stitch into the next chain two space just like this and then yarn over pull through all four of those loops and then chain three one two three so a cluster stitch going into this next uh, chain two space yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and again yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through all four loops and then chain three so do that all the way around and then i'll meet you up for round three all right i'm just finishing this round here just got to chain three and then slip stitch to the beginning cluster stitch here okay so not this chain three here but actually into the cluster stitch we're going to go in yarn over pull through and through now if you're not changing color slip stitch into this chain three space and chain up one and go on to round three with me but i'm going to chain one here and cut my yarn pull that through and pull tight. And then I'm going to start this next round in any chain three space. So I'm just gonna go right into this one and pick up my new color, hook that on my hook and pull that through and then chain up one. So yarn over, pull through. Now in the same space, we're gonna make a series of stitches. We are going to put a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. Then we're going to half double crochet, so yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. 
Then we're going to double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a double crochet. Then we are going to treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops on your hook. Now we're going to make a picot. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything. So count one, two, and three, right in this third chain. I'm gonna go into the back ridge there. I'm gonna go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we're going to make the rest of the stitches in here. So we're going to scoot these over a little bit so we can see this uh, space here. We're going to make a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go back into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And we're going to make a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there's our first petal, our first point. Then we are going to repeat that in each space around. So hop to the next space and put a single crochet then a half double crochet, then a double crochet, then a treble crochet, then we need to put a picot stitch, so one, two, three chains, and then slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and then we're going to put a, another treble crochet into this space. And then we are going to put a double crochet, then a half double crochet, and then a single crochet, all in that same chain three space. Okay, and then we're going to just repeat that in each chain three space around. So again, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, picot stitch, treble crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet in each chain three space around. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to round four. All right, I'm just finishing this stitch here. We're going to slip stitch to the beginning uh, single crochet of this round. So right in here, just insert your hook see there it is go in yarn over pull through and pull through okay so those are all the petals that's actually a really pretty uh, flower you could actually fasten off here and have a little applique for something but I want to make this into a square so regardless if you're changing color or not just chain one here and cut this yarn pull this all the way through and pull tight and we'll sew that in in a minute but we're gonna start this next round in any pico stitch at the tip top of a point here. So we're going to go into the pico stitch or this chain three space here, just like that. We're going to hook on the new color and pull that through. And then we're going to chain one. And now we're going to single crochet into the same space here into the same pico. So go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops. Now we're going to chain six. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to hop to the next pico stitch right up here at this next uh, point. And we are going to single crochet in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay. 
And then we're just going to repeat that around. So chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then single crochet in the next picot stitch at the next tip of this next point. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then single crochet in the next picot. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round five. Okay, when you chain your last six here, we want to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So go into the actual single crochet itself, right in here, yarn over, pull through and pull through. At this point, you could change color. Uh, you can fasten off here and then start your next round in any chain six space, but I'm actually not gonna change color yet. I'm gonna slip stitch into this chain six space, yarn over, pull through and through, so now I'm in there. And then I'm going to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And that's gonna count as my first double crochet of this round. Now in the same chain six space, we are going to put five double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's one, this is two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then we're gonna hop to the next, oh, I'm sorry, did I say six? I meant five. What is wrong with me? We're gonna do five. So it's gonna actually look like there's six here. So this chain of three counts as a stitch. So we're doing five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like there's six in there. So I was reading my pattern as six double crochets. So now going into the next space, we're going to make our corner. And our corners are going to be six double crochet, chain two and six double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next space here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And then we're going to put six more double crochets in the same space. So yarn over and make your double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's our corner. Now in this next chain five space, uh, we're going to, or chain six space, we're going to make six double crochets in there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so six double crochets in there. Then we're gonna hop to the next one, next chain six space here, and we're gonna make our corner. So that is six double crochet, chain two, and six double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, then chain two, one, two, and then put six more double crochets in that same space. So there's actually 12 stitches all in the same chain space here four five and six okay so six double crochet chain two and six double crochet then in this next one and since it's our side we're putting six double crochets in there so one two three four five and six and now this next space is our corner, then this next space after that will be our side, and then this last space will be our corner. So I'm gonna finish off those three spaces and then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. All right, just finishing my last corner here and now we want to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round. So right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through. All right, so there's our square so far, what it looks like. 
Okay, so now I'm going to make a fancy little stitch here to kind of close up some of this uh, negative space in this square. Uh, these holes are kind of large for me, so I want to just cover that up with some crisscross stitches and make this really fancy. So I'm going to fasten off here. If you're changing color or not, uh, fasten off anyway. So chain one and cut this yarn, pull this all the way through and pull tight. Going on to round six here, we're going to go into a corner any corner you can start in doesn't matter and we're going to hook on our new color or same color if you want and pull that through then in the same corner we're going to chain up one so yarn over pull through and then we're going to single crochet into the same corner so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops then we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to single crochet into the same space so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two now we want to single crochet into the next three stitches so go into this next stitch here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops next stitch single crochet and the next stitch single crochet now is where it gets tricky we are going to make double treble stitches so we're going to yarn over three times and then we're going to go down into this petal from the, so we're going to, in the pattern it says previous petal, so this petal here, okay, to the right of your work. We're going to go into the double crochet from this petal. So look for, this one is the treble crochet and this is the double crochet right here. So we're going to yarn our hook three times, go into that double crochet right here, just like this. Okay, working in front of our work, so just through this layer here, then yarn over, pull through, pull up a little bit, not much, then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops, just like that. So now we're back up to the top, right over here. So we've just made a very long strand into that petal. Then we're going to single crochet in these next three stitches right here. Okay, so right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So one, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to, so now we're in this next grouping of six double crochets, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two and now we're going to make a double treble stitch in the double crochet from the next petal so the petal on the left here okay so yarn over three times go into the double crochet stitch which is right here we're going to go into that stitch okay then we're going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over pull through two more loops yarn over pull through two more loops and yarn over and pull through those last two loops then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches right here so one and two and then we're going to make a double treble stitch in the double crochet on this petal the previous petal which is the petal to the right so right here is this double crochet. We're gonna put a double treble in there. So yarn over three times, go into that double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so now we've made these crisscross stitches kind of cool so now we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then now we're in the next corner space here so these next six stitches here so we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and now we're going to double treble crochet into the stitch over here the next petal over here so this double crochet right here right straight down from it we're gonna go right in there okay so yarn over three times go into that 
double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches, so you can kind of move this over so you can see the next three stitches here. Put a single crochet in each one of those. And now we're in the corner. So in the corners we're putting single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. And then we're going to make a double treble stitch in the double crochet from the previous uh, petal. So right below here. So we're going to cross over this stitch here. So we're going to come down straight down into this double crochet that's right here. Okay, so yarn over three times. Go down. So you can decide if you want to work behind this stitch or in front of it. I'm just going to work in front of it because it's easier for me. And I'm going to go into this double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then you can kind of move this over so you can see these next three stitches. We're going to put a single crochet in each one of those. One, two, and three. But you can see here that we've made another crisscross stitch, which is really cool. Okay, so now we are going to go into, we're basically repeating now what we did on this side for this side and each side around. So single crochet in the next two stitches, then make a double treble stitch in the double crochet from this petal here. Okay. Then we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches up here. And then we're going to make a double treble stitch in this double crochet from the previous petal over here. Oops, go into the stitch. Okay, it'll be a lot of folding your square around to kind of get that into that uh, stitch there. But then you've made another crisscross stitch. And then we're going to put a single crochet in the next two stitches on this part. And now we're in the next corner. So we're going to put a single crochet in the next three stitches. Then our double treble stitch in the petal directly below here. So straight ahead here. Make your double treble in the double crochets from your petals, okay? Then we're going to uh, double, or I'm sorry, single crochet in the next three stitches up here. And now we're in the corner. So we're going to put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat. So just repeat exactly what we did on this half of the square for this whole half of the square and then I'll meet you up when I'm doing my last uh, double treble stitch and we'll, we'll go on to finishing our square. Alright, I'm just finishing my last double treble and this last one I, I want it to be behind this stitch only because it will match the other stitches on here so I'm just going to work behind my post and work in the double crochet from this petal and work my last double treble stitch. But that's optional, you can do it totally different if you want to work above and in, in front of this piece, but uh, that's just my choice. And then you're gonna single crochet into the last three stitches of this round, and then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of this round right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now we're going to do just one more simple round. We're just going to single crochet. If you're not changing color, slip stitch into the corner and chain up one and go on to the last round with me. But I'm going to chain one here and cut this, pull it through and pull it tight and insert my hook into the corner and pick up my last color. Hook that on my hook and pull it through and then chain up one. And we're going to do the corner exactly like we did the last round. So we're going to put it single crochet then chain two, and then a single crochet in the corners, okay? And then we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across here. So let me count real quick. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, 23 and 24. So there should be 24 stitches across the side. And then in this corner chain space here, we're going to put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Okay, so then just single crochet in the next 24 stitches. And then um, the corners, sorry, have a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up when we're about to fasten off. All right, when you come back all the way around, we want to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So right in here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can fasten off. So chain one and cut that yarn, pull it through, pull it tight, and sew in your ends. There you have it. Number 219, Granny Square, is complete. Awesome. So exciting. This one is so beautiful. I really liked how we did the double trebles. Let me know what you thought of today's square. Uh, write your comments on the Facebook and Instagram. Uh, check out my posts on both pages. Make sure you're following me on there and share your photos. I'd like to see what color combinations you come up with with this beautiful design. So check those out. Snapchat me, you guys. Snap me a photo. 10 seconds. <laughs> you can snap me your photos of your squares today. So I'll wait to see those. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, happy hooking.